I'm going to do a quick overview of, of the molds that I own. Um, there's a lot of them in there, so we're going to just break this up into a couple different parts. Uh, right now, we're just going to do a few from this top drawer. All right, here's a few from that first drawer. Uh, we'll start out with some straight tails. We've got a, a seven inch, just a little straight tail worm. Another five inch straight tail. We've got some small little patent tail ones. These ones work pretty good. Just a different style of the same thing. What else we got out here? This was uh, one that I had sent over to Jason. Um, little cigar type ones. They're basically like like a Cinco type. They're just a little bit smaller. Got some curly tails. This one's about a, a seven inch also. Another one that's got the little ridges. I don't know if you see the ridges there. It gives it a little bit different uh, tail spin. We've got the bigger grubs there. Smaller grubs. Got different kind of grub there. It's got little um, the ridge tail there again for different kind of kick action. Uh, this is also kind of a hybrid. It's got the little grub type head and a little pata tail there. This is another one that I sent over to Jason that he did a review on. I'm gonna go. Ahead, I'm gonna also put uh, his link up at the up at the top to get to his page. He uh, was nice enough to give me a review on some of my baits. Uh, hopefully, he gets to test them out soon. Uh, but he did a really good job. I'm really really grateful to him for that. Um, we got some more Cinco's. These are the little bit bigger ones. I don't know if anybody remembers the old Sluggos. I got a mold for that too. It's been a, it's a pretty old. It's been a long time for those. Another kind of a hybrid straight tail with a little leech type into it. All sorts of different leech baits, different sizes, uh, just different different ones. Uh, we got some of what they call them beavers. Um, they're not like the the uh, crawdad looking beaver ones that are new out now, but these were the old type beaver baits with the paddle tail on the back. Uh, I even got a little uh, salamander. You got to, to use this yet, but I did pour some. I'm curious to see what those are going to be like here in the spring if I get to get out. Uh, different uh, lizard types. We got the um, eight inch here, and we got a f four inch here. Um, these are also really good. I like to throw out in the, the springtime. Of course, you guys have all seen the crawdads. These are one of my my favorite molds that I have. So I like when you when you uh, pour it with that softer plastic. When these things uh, when they're in the water, these their claws come up and flap, and uh, that's just like uh, what they do in real life. And that seems to be about it from this first first set. There's uh, plenty more, but like I said, we're, we're going to make this into a couple a couple series set. And um, let me know, let me know what you guys think, uh, which ones you like, which which ones you don't like, and uh, we'll make another one here pretty soon. Thanks for watching.